Next week I'll be starting my deuterium depleted water experiment and I thought I would begin by implementing a cutting method of using normal water but changing the deuterium content by uh, by using different concentrations of water. So um, adding my deuterium depleted water to a concentration of normal water to have approximately 120 parts per million deuterium. And the reason I'm doing that is because after consulting with people who know about this, they suggested that it might be a good idea to gradually transition to lower deuterium states um, in the body over time with, through this method of having gradually deuterium depleted water. And to me it makes sense because with any change like that it's probably a good idea to allow the body to adjust even though I know that healthy cells can adjust quite well to changes in deuterium state um, but the tumor cells cannot which is very interesting um, so yeah it's something that I have thought about just how I would implement this how I would start it's never a good idea to just jump into something without reading about it and speaking to other people who've done it um, looking at the actual studies to see how those have been done the studies actually use a product called Preventer, which is different from the one I'm using. But I do know that the quality of mine is okay, it's not the best, but ideally I would be using Preventer, which is the deuterium depleted water product that's used in all of these studies on human patients. And there's an interesting lung cancer one I saw recently. I think there's a few on lymphoma too and other cancers which um, are available on PubMed. And um, I'm still reading those and learning more. And um, there is also a um, website that details how you would test amount of deuterium in the body and has more information about that so I'll try to put that in the description of this video and um, I'll start my experiment next week with my gradual serial dilutions of deuterium uh, in my water and um, we'll see how that goes over time